Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Okay, today I want to start modeling the main section of this drawer grip. Okay, this black section here. And this of course comes in or will be in two pieces. The second piece will be this little metal insert that screws up on the little bolt that comes out of the drawer. But for the moment we're going to model up this the main black section that you can see in the drawing. Okay, so from the 3D space, I'm just going to press 1 for front view. And I'm going to make sure the cube is selected. I'm just going to press delete and delete that. And what I want to do is append an object from another drawing. And that drawing is accompanying this course. So you just download it. It's called grip.blend and if you download that and save it to a location on your computer somewhere you can then follow this instruction which is actually first we'll just put the 3d cursor in make sure it's in the center of the grid so just press shift shift a or sorry shift s i should say and left select cursor to center and then come up here to file and left select append okay and if you go to the location where you've saved your grip.blend file you can just left select it come down to object and it's the section we want or the profile is called grip outline so if you just left select that and come over to append from library and just I want to lose that orange color so I'm just going to left select it again okay if you come over to this property panel here you can press N to switch it on or off or display it I should say you can see that the profile X dimension is 3.8 3 centimeters and you can see it's 3.2 centimeters in the Z okay we've already set up the units of measurement in the previous one so just make sure that you have the scale at 0 0.01 here you can look back at an earlier at the earlier tutorial if you need to okay what i want to do is select this object and just drag it up so it's resting on the red line here okay again you can choose your manipulation tool down here you can switch it on and off here and you can choose between translate rotate and scale or you can press control space and left select translate okay now what i want to do is press shift s and just make sure the cursor is at center and i'm going to press shift a and i want to add a mesh and i'm going to left select uv sphere and I'm just going to press S and scale this down. Okay, left click when I'm almost in. I'm going to press S again and left click. Press S again. Just to squeeze it in and left click. I just want it to be a little bit smaller than our profile for the moment. I'm just going to drag it up and roll the mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm going to press and hold the middle mouse button and shift and just zoom in roll the mouse wheel i just want to bring the tip of the sphere up to the tip of or the, the very top point of our profile so i'm just going to press g and z to restrict it to the z axis and just drag it right up okay left click when i'm happy okay i'm going to give myself a little bit more space so to get rid of this menu here i'm just going to press t and i'm going to press n to get rid of this one here okay with the sphere selected i'm going to press tab and left select edit mode i'm going to press a to deselect all this mesh okay i'm going to press z and left select wireframe and i'm going to press control tab 
and that brings up this mesh select mode I'm gonna choose vertex okay and I'm just gonna press B for box select and I'm gonna press and hold the left mouse button and draw a selection right across the bottom section here and release and I want to delete all these vertices so I'm gonna press delete and choose vertices okay hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series okay today I want to continue on where we left off so I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in I'm going to press and hold shift and the middle mouse button just to pan this down okay I'm going to press and hold alt and left select this entire ring of vertices as you can see the entire ring is selected when I rotate around so I'm just going to press one to come back into front view and if you come up here you can see I'm in front orthographic again if you find yourself in perspective you can press 5 on the keyboard to go into front to toggle between orthographic and perspective okay now what I want to do is maybe just drag this up a small bit and I'm going to press S and scale this out and what I want to do is follow this profile the whole way down along with each individual edge loop okay so if I press and hold alt again and left select this edge I'm just going to drag this up slightly and press S and scale it out and again I do the same thing here press and hold alt left select and press S okay and just fit it so it, it looks like it's fitting the curve nicely so I'm just going to press and hold alt again and left select this edge and just drag this out and I'm going to drag this back up okay just going to roll the mouse wheel just to zoom out now I'm going to press E to extrude and I'm going to press Z just to keep it coming down along the Z axis so I'm just going to left click when I'm happy press S and again scale this out and what I might do is just zoom right into one side so I'm going to roll the mouse wheel I'm going to press and hold shift and the middle mouse button and just roll the mouse wheel in okay I'm going to press E again and Z and maybe bring it down to here left click when I'm happy press S Okay, that might be a little bit too far down so I might just bring it to here and just press G and Z and bring it back up okay left click when I'm happy to lock that in it depends on the angle or the sharpness of the curve here so I'm gonna press E again and Z left click press S okay press E again Z left click S left click when I'm happy E again Z and S left click to lock that in it's gonna press and hold the middle mouse button and shift just to pan so press E again and Z just drag it down left click press S and scale it in and this is basically going to be a process of E for extrusion Z to restrict it to the Z axis and scaling with S okay right down to the very bottom so press E again and Z and left click and S okay E Z left click and S and just you don't need to come too far down you want to keep as good a shape as possible so again E Z left click and S and left click when you're happy E Z left click S and left click when you're happy okay and again E Z left click and S and left click to lock it in E Z again left click and S okay I might have gone a little bit too far so 
come back up and press S again and just drag this out press E and Z again left click and S and left click to lock it in E and Z again S left click press E Z just to I may have come down too far so I'm just going to press Z and drag this back press E again and Z okay E and Z left click S just drag this out E Z again S to scale it out E Z again left click S to scale it out E Z again left click and S to scale it out okay again I may have come down a little bit too far so I'm just going to drag it back up and press S and scale it back in okay press E Z again press S and scale again I might have I can correct that by just pressing G Z drag it back up left click and just press S and scale it in EZ again and S and just drag this back EZ left click and scale okay EZ EZ again left click and scale okay EZ again And for the last one, I'm going to press and hold control and it'll snap to the next grid, which should be on the red line. So I'm just going to left click and then press S and just scale it into about here. I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in. It gets a little bit down. So I'm just going to press G, Z and press and hold shift and it'll just slowly drag it up towards the red line. Okay, left click when I'm happy and i'm going to press z and choose solid i'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button okay you should have an object that looks similar to this okay and i'm just going to press one and i'm going to press Control s to save that it's a good idea to make copies of this so if you want to save it and then just press Control shift s save as pick your folder and very cool feature in blender is you can come over here to this plus sign and it adds an extra digit so it, the first one was live one this one is live two so it just saves another copy and save as blend file okay and that's going to be it for this tutorial so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one goodbye hello and welcome to my 3D printing course on Udemy. This course is great for anyone who wants to expand their creative side into the amazing new world of 3D printing. In this course, you will learn to take a simple household object, in this case, a drawer grip, and model it up in 3D software. Once we have established the steps involved, we move up a gear and model a mobile phone stand. With all of the models, I will walk you through the simple steps required to complete the objects so they are ready for 3D printing. I will show you how to export them to a printable file format and demonstrate the process of uploading them to Shapeways for a full inspection and costing of your model. For this course, we will use the free and open source software Blender. So join me on this course and turn your ideas and designs into actual physical products you can use or sell to your customers.